So we've been called out to this property today as they've been experiencing some high water pressure issues. So basically what we've done is we've taken a pressure test here today and the water pressure is actually 750 kPa, which is significantly higher than what is stated in the in the Australian standards, the AS 3500. Basically what that states is no water is to enter a dwelling exceeding 500 kPa. So what we are doing today is we're going to install a pressure reduction valve down here at the water meter and uh, which will make sure that we the water pressure never exceeds that 500 kPa which basically is very important especially for an older home like this that's got older water pipes and older fixtures because any higher than 500 kPa and it increases the stress on the pipework and the fixtures so um, which can then lead to split water pipes in the walls under the basins uh, which can then flood your house so basically what we do is we just dig a little hole here try and keep that grass So I know a lot of people go, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna cap the water pressure at 500 kPa. There's not gonna be enough water pressure in the showers and all that. 500 kPa is actually quite, but that is a, more than enough water pressure to run a house. So if you are experiencing water, low water pressure in your showers nine times out of ten that is because you have restrictors in your shower I'll just keep exposing this as you can see I'm being very very careful as we do not want to move this water meter and break it off the council
uh, we've already cut this open um, ready to install the PRV pressure reduction valve now the other thing is if you are experiencing low water pressure throughout the house and you know for a fact you have one of these pressure reduction valves installed it could very well be faulty which means you need to have this replaced now as you can see it can be quite messy and quite tricky sometimes these are located up at the water entry point into your home on newer homes um, they're not always located at the water meter what I'm doing here is I'm just ensuring there's a nice smooth surface on the old pipe to ensure a good seal So this is what we call a pressure reduction valve here. So as you can see it's all ready to go. It's always preparation is key in these jobs. And I've lost my fitting, there we go. Ah, uh, if you've got one.
You only really have to do this stuff up hand tight. Don't want to crank it. And just like that, we're all installed. So now we'll just make sure there's nothing turned on inside and then we can turn the water on and test our new installation and do a pressure test and show you what it comes in at. see there the water pressure is only 300 just over 300 kPa so we'll go and adjust that down at the pressure reduction valve to get that as close to 500 as possible so what we're going to do here is adjust the pressure reduction valve to allow as close to 500 kPa as possible uh, as that is the maximum water pressure that is allowed inside a dwelling as stated by the Australian standards. Is that going up? What's it at? What's it at now? Perfect. Oh, 
All good. Beautiful. So we've adjusted our valve here. You see it's just under 500, which is exactly what we want. So that is all sorted. Time to pack up. <laughs> 